Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back out in our greenhouse, guys. We are really excited to have a new product in. Wanda and I have been looking for some good grow lights to be able to get our vegetables started up in the spring and get them going. And guys, I think that, uh, I think we found what we need. Because the problem is we've been trying these little small lights and, and they're okay. But we needed something with some intensity, something that would cover a big area. These are some big trays, and when you stack three or four of them beside each other, before you know it, you got a four by five area here that you, a uh, three by five area that you don't have any light for all of it. it. They all start coming up at different rates. So what we've got here is we've got a new product. This in here is the BP three thousand. This, my friends, is a nice light system here. This thing covers an area for vegetables. It will cover an area about five foot by five foot. Now that's one thing that we like about it. Pulls about 300 watts of electricity, which is not that bad. We're okay with that. And it's, uh, it's got two sets of lights on it here. And they put out a full spectrum for vegetables. And it, it actually does a lot for the plants. For germination, guys, what you want to do is you want to hang this light about 24 to 30 inches above your seed trays in order to get them germinated. And then once they come up to vegetable stage, you just you basically just hang it and leave it at that particular point, probably about 24 inches. When they are blooming, you can actually drop it down to 18 inches from it to get a better uh, a better grow from it. Now. And, and another thing, this thing weighs about 10 pounds, roughly. Now, it's not exactly 10 pounds, but it's rare about. Okay, when we look at the back of it here, we see it has the two transformers on the back of it here. And they go into one cable here, which goes to one cord that plugs into a 110 amp outlet. And it comes with its own lanyards here. Now, these lanyards are made to hook into each corner. There's one on this corner, one over there. One over here, and one over here. And these lanyards have, form a Y system coming up like this, and they have an adjustable thing on it that you can actually pull it up and lock it. That way you can lift it up and lock it, lift it up and lock it, or if you need to lower it down, you can do it. Makes it really easy to grow with. So we're going to be using this. Now I don't know if we're gonna be using it in this greenhouse, or if we're going to use it in the greenhouse that's attached to the back of the shop. It just depends. Or if we're going to use it in Ms. Wanda's greenhouse. We haven't determined yet exactly where we're going to use it. But guys, it is the new addition to our greenhouses and our ability to get our plants up and get them going and making them sturdy and not spently little plants. We're actually excited to get ready to get going with this. I mean, normally we would use this in the early spring, like in the winter months, and try to get our little plants going while it's still cold. But in order to give it a good shot, we're going to need some vegetables for the fall. So we're probably going to be installing this in the next week. Um, technically, we don't start our plants down here where we're at until about the middle of September, sometimes more toward the end of September for our fall because it just doesn't get that uh, doesn't get cool down here fast enough, but we're going to be judging it on the cool weather and how it come, how fast it's coming in, uh, based on the grand solar minimum. So we may be using this thing within the next week or two. So guys, the Bloom Plus light is a uh, uh, grow light, I'm going to call it, and it has a spectrum of about 6,500 lumens, and technically you need 5,500 or above to have a, a really good grow light. Actually, you need to be around 6,000 or better for it to actually do its job. And this one's going to kick out about 6,500. Now, it will put out some heat, so you want to make sure you don't have it close to anything that's uh, flammable or anything like that. And guys, probably in the next two weeks, you're going to see Deep South Homestead starting their seedling trays for the fall and using the Bloom Plus light. And guys, now that we've talked a little bit about the light, we're going to start picking our greenhouse again. Okay guys, the first thing off the bat here, we have these Merlot purple peppers here. And you can see, you see there's one that's turning there and there's one that's purple, but look at that. It was this color and it turned 
this color. So evidently the purples, if you leave them long enough, turn red because look at that, it's all on the same plant. We did not know that. So I'm gonna take this one off. Now I think that, boy, look at that. That's a good pepper there. So I think I'm gonna leave this one here no, take the purple one so I have purple. Okay, you want the purple too? Yeah. Okay. Just leave the green one. Leave the green one. Okay. It was more than ready, wasn't it? Yeah, look at, I mean, love bugs. Guys, y'all don't have love bugs, you're blessed. Uh, but look at this. Off the same plant. It's amazing. Gorgeous. I didn't know they, I didn't know they would turn red. I didn't either, but that's pretty. That's pretty. I mean, I knew they were purples, but I didn't know they would turn red if you just left them. Now, this is our yellow Marconi's. No. Got this thing. Look at this. Nice peppers. I mean, those are, look at that. That is some good peppers there now. We pick them before they get yellow. We pick them before they get yellow. I know. It's, uh, look at that. Man. If there's one thing this year we've had an abundance of, it's peppers. And, it, you know, what I want to, look I can reach eight. That's eight foot right there. Look where it's at. It's less than a foot from being eight foot up there. To me, that's amazing. These things are just outdoing themselves. Right here. Well, it's kind of small. I was okay. leaving. Them. Oh, here's a big one right here. These are looking like trees. These things are. All right. Now you said that one was seven foot. Look at this one. This one's already. Look, I can reach eight foot. That's a little. That one's over eight feet tall. To me, that's amazing. We're gonna get rid of a few of these peppers here because we've got too much weight hanging out on the end of a limb here. About to break it. About to break it. It's kind of, kind of difficult to find your way around through there. That, that just looks pretty. Well, guys, you can see here. Look at this. Another pineapple at Deep South Homestead. It's actually taking off and growing. It's loving the heat. We've got some nice little babies coming on the side here. This is um, actually the one that we grew last year yeah. here, and we saved the top. Yeah, and as I look over inside here, and I'll have to get these from this side. Look at this. Banana peppers. That limb's hanging over here in the pineapples. I just as well clean it up while I'm here. Look. Look how pretty. Make some good stuffed peppers. That makes some beautiful peppers there. Okay, guys, I want y'all to look at our dwarf banana tree here. This thing, <laughs> it sit here for like two months and didn't do nothing. And all of a sudden, when it popped up, boy, I mean, it ain't done nothing but went to town now. These, uh, it's just amazing. One of the things we've learned about it, you need to keep it misted, keep it wet, keep it pot good and wet, and it seems like it's working good. All right, guys, look at these satsumas. Look at that. Look how big that thing is. That was as big as an orange that you buy in the store. Look at that. I am sold on these trees growing them in a greenhouse. I'm telling you. The other trees over there has got big old ones on them. Now the limbs out here, these are kind of smaller. I got a lot more of them on these limbs. But where there's only one, now them things are Cadillacking. And get us some more banana peppers off of this side. Try to find the bigger ones here. Yeah, we're fixing to come in and water. It's time to water. It's time to water this evening. Look up here. Look how long. Ooh, look at that. Went on the other side. Look at that. Beautiful. Somewhere in there. Several handfuls done come out here. Now I got to try to figure my way back out. Go through the food forest. Through the food forest. Oh yeah. Look at that guy. There's one thing now. You can grow some peppers in a greenhouse. Yeah, Miss Wanda came in here yesterday and this morning and she got most of these berries, but she forgot one right here. I'm sorry, Miss Wanda. 
Man, that's good. Gosh, is that good. And look. Look blooming here. Look at that. They're all over the place. Man. New blooms fixing to pop out. So we're, I mean, this is crazy that we've got berries all summer long from this thing. And it still, I mean, still. it's fixing to be. Fix, well, it's fixing to be mid-September. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Well, we got to keep moving on down. The peppers just keep coming. Now look how tall these are. Yeah, these are all the way up to the eight foot mark. Now this is our, we don't know, pepper. <laughs> but it makes some nice makes pretty some peppers. nice pretty peppers, whatever variety it ended up with being. I mean, I like picking peppers like this. I don't even have to bend over. <laughs> That's the amazing part, isn't and it? You get the look at, look there. at there. Look up in here. Wow. Hiding up in all them leaves. Look at that. Ooh, that's some, that that's some nice stuff. That is nice. I, I believe there's probably more of them hiding in here. I just don't know where. Look at the bales here. Oh my goodness. What we got? Look. Look at that. Oh my word. And there's one behind it I see hiding in there. Look at that. Now tell me that ain't a pretty bell. That is a beautiful bell pepper. But look, 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 way. And I think that's one of those others. Oh, look others. at this. Hold on. Way back in him. Well, I can't see what you see, and I see a... Look at this. Another one. Look at that big baby. Ooh. But look at this one. This is one of the... And heavy? The other things in there. You see it behind Oh, it? look at it hanging in there. Let me see if I can get it. Now look. Look at that. That's some nice peppers. That's nice right there now. I saw a bell up there. I don't yep. know if it's ready. It's ready. Is it's it ready? ready? Yep. There's one in there. Oh yeah, here's another. Man, we got way more bells than I thought ready. Look yeah, up right, the right here. One. I, I see a granddaddy up in there. Right there. You see another one? Yeah, I see a huge one. Look at that, man. I mean, they're big as your hand just about it anyways. Yeah, let me look around this back in here. See how, if there's anything hiding in here. Oh, look up in here, boy. Goodness gracious. I'm trying to be careful not to hurt nothing. I can't see it. I can only feel it. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. And let's see if we can't find another jewel back in there somewhere. Oh, I feel another one. I see one under here, too. Look at here. Just hanging. That is amazing. Look at this one. Whoa. Look at that. Goodness gracious of life. Well, look right here. About to break our limbs. Now this is a California wonder. Isn't Bell that pepper. awesome? And now, this is my grandpa one right here. Oh Lord. That one is. Look at that. Look. And right beside it. You still seeing peppers? Wow. Look at that. Wow. We in the wow factor now. <clears throat> I don't know what we're doing with all our peppers tonight. Hey, we ain't through now. We ain't even looked inside the plant. Look up in here. Whoa. Two. Man, these things are going crazy. Look at that. And heavy. Good, probably good quarter inch thick walls on. Get up to them. No, we just thought we had some pepper. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Man. the size of these peppers. These things are just, they getting kicking off and it's time for us to take them down. I don't know that we're going to be able to take those oh, down. Word. I was thinking we were going to take them down so we could replant some stuff. They just kicking it. Another one. Okay guys, we 
we actually thought was at the point we fixing that to take our peppers out of here, you know, because it, it is getting to be late summer, early fall. And we were about ready to pull them up and I, I think we're gonna change our mind because these things are still blooming like crazy. And look at this. This is totally unexpected right here. We have more than we ever anticipated getting today. So the peppers get to live another day and uh, Deep South Homestead gets to go in and cut up peppers tonight. Uh, totally unexpected. One thing we've learned growing peppers in a greenhouse, four, maybe five plants, if you take care of them, it's all you need. We have harvested, I don't know how many five gallon buckets of peppers we've picked out of here. This is a two and a half gallon pail, and you can see it's rounded up, probably close to three gallons of peppers here. Totally unexpected, guys. We just picked them here the other day. So, lesson learned. If you're growing in a greenhouse, you can grow fewer plants and get a better quality and a lot more food for your bang. So thank you guys from Beach House Homestead.